It looks like a regular condo complex, but Jane Pilot says she feels under siege, relentlessly bullied by the condo board. It took her to court after refusing to discuss issues in her backyard. I was shocked. I felt like my whole person had been like torn apart. Her crimes? According to the condo corporation, things such as two flower pots that were too large, an extra patio chair, solar lights not allowed in the bylaws. I was absolutely floored. This, I think, is not how any individual should be treated. The problem started, says Pilot, after she successfully fought a 22% condo fee increase two years ago. Ever since then, she says, she's been targeted. Neither the condo board nor the property management company would give an interview. Condos are the fastest growing type of housing in Canada. The Condo Information Centre was created by a condo owner to help other owners understand their rights and responsibilities. It's received 5,000 complaints since its creation five years ago. One third of those from condo owners who say they've been intimidated, bullied or threatened by boards or managers when they make justifiable complaints. A Toronto company that investigates complaints says too often condo boards don't understand their role. They're not there for vendettas or any kind of undeclared uh, motives. They should be there for everyone's interest. Across the country, provinces are grappling with how to keep bitter condo disputes from clogging the courts. This July, Ontario will roll out new legislation that creates a tribunal for grievances, a lower-cost option to court cases that could cost owners tens of thousands for petty disagreements. But this condo advocate says B.C. is leading the way. Last summer, it created the country's first completely online tribunal. For individual owners, it provides affordable access to justice. Jane Pilot's case was moved from court to mediation where a settlement was reached, but Pilot says it took such an emotional toll, she's now considering moving out. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver. And remember, we count on you to help us stay on top of the issue. So if you have a story you feel needs to be told, reach out. You can submit it through GoPublic's website or email us Go public at cbc.ca.